My MRI says I have a bulging disc. What does that mean? Am I doomed? You're not doomed. You're just like the rest of us. I can't tell how many times patients come in and they're just hanging their head and they're just sad and they're hurting and they're holding themselves and doc, I've got a bulging disc. You know, and I kind of giggle inside, but I don't let them see that because the reality is we all have bulging discs. That's what our discs do as we get older. There's been so many studies on this, it's wild. They did a recent study, actually not too recent, but it's, it's one that I like to quote. They took 98 patients, healthy, happy, no pain whatsoever. They MRI'd them, and guess what? Two-thirds of them had bad discs. Bulging disc, protruding disc, extruded discs. I want you to understand that a bulging disc is not a problem, it's not a disability, it's not the end of the world. Let me explain real quick what a bulging disc is and maybe put your mind at ease. The disc, as I mentioned in some previous videos, is the little cushion between the bones. It's basically a, it's, think of it as a jelly-filled donut, but the donut material is a real thick cartilage ring and the jelly is in the middle. This structure, this disc, is basically a shock absorber. It provides shock absorbing capacity to the bones above and below it. There's a lot of fluid in that disc. It's hydrated, it's healthy, it's happy. As we get older, this disc can dry out. That fluid kind of eventually gets out of the disc. The disc is still fine, it's just not as strong as it used to be, but it works and it functions. It happens to everybody. I cannot MRI anybody over 30 and not find something about wrong with their disc to some degree. But when you lose some of that fluid, that disc starts to bulge. And that bulge is just what happens. It doesn't cause pain. Sometimes bulges can push a little further, and that's called a protrusion, or even further, and that's called an extrusion or a herniation. And so when someone comes in with a bulging disc, I explain this is the normal aging process. That would be like somebody coming in and saying, Doctor, I've lost my hair. Well, it's because you're 65, 70, and genetically you were, you were supposed to lose your hair. Our discs do that too. They just get older. We get older. That's part of the aging process. How do I keep a bulging disc from getting worse? It's the right exercises, the right stretches. The stronger your back is, the more muscle you have around your back, the more resilient it is. The more flexibility you have in your hips and your hamstrings, the less stress you'll place on that back. So despite getting older and having these natural changes, you have a less likely chance of injuring that disc or causing that bulge to now turn into a herniation if you're strong and flexible. And one of the major things I uh, advise patients to do is a gentle home exercise stretching program to strengthen the muscles of the core, to protect the disc, to prevent the injury. Uh, if you'd like an example of a good exercise program, you can visit therehabzone.com. It's something I've been involved with and it's been a wonderful program for my patients. Uh, and there's so many resources on the internet uh, for strengthening the back. But just know that a bulging disc, not a death wish, not a death sentence, it's okay, you're gonna survive, you're gonna stay strong, and don't be afraid.